what it look like tv we back thanks for joining me on this one i got a little disturbing one for the longest i've been trying to tell everybody cooking is one of the biggest enjoyments you can get out of life but nowadays it seems as if the young people think that cooking is something of weakness but cooking is of all importance you need to be growing your own food you need to be going and purchasing your own food and you need to be cooking your own food. Why? So you know exactly what you are eating. There has been a push for lab grown meat and now lab grown meat has been approved. And let's see what's going on. Feel if you could enjoy a meat delicacy without any guilt. No worries about an animal being slaughtered or contributing to carbon emissions. Well, this could soon turn into reality for Americans. The Food and Drug Administration has declared lab-grown meat product to be safe for human consumption. And this has given new hope to Americans that their favorite lab-synthesized meat items could one day be available in grocery stores. A food technology... I like to watch foreign news. Because you kind of get more of an honest opinion about us and what's going on. They kind of take the sensor off. But what the heck is she talking about our favorite lab-grown food? Stuff hasn't even been approved by the FDA yet. What are you talking about our favorite lab-grown food? What do you think about us as Americans? I caught that little jab, lady. Company Upside Foods is harvesting cells from viable animal tissues and it is growing edible meat under controlled conditions in bioreactors using vegetable protein. The firm says the products will be identical to conventional meat. The FDA's announcement taking uh, cultivated meat step closer to Americans' dinner plates. But there are still hurdles when it comes to... Got to stop it right there. I want y'all to peep that. Code name, cultivated meat. Cultivated meat. So if you're ever in the supermarket or you're ever somewhere shopping and you see a, a, a meat product and it says cultivated meat product, you know what it is now. Cultivated meat availability. Upside's chicken production technology can be adopted for producing multiple animal species, but each product will need approval from the federal regulators before going to the market. And every firm that makes... There it is. There it is. products will need approval from the FDA and the USDA, even if it follows a production method that already has been approved. The cultivated meat industry has grown to more than 151 companies globally. It is backed by investments of more than $2.6 billion. But despite the money and the hope invested in stimulated meat products, the market has cooled down for them, it seems, as initial costs of production can make lab-cultured meat quite expensive. Whether consumers will embrace this form of meat remains a question. Experts say lab meat could be a game changer for global nutrition if they can re replicate the taste and texture of traditional meat. That too at a... Once again, if it's super expensive, how is it to cure? Poor countries need it. If it's super expensive... Super expensive of poor countries really don't go together. Now, nah, this is something new that y'all trying to figure out how to make money off of. You haven't said anything about the nutritional value or anything of that nature. Just, you want to sell it worldwide. Similar or lower cost and with fewer downsides. Alternatives to traditional animal agriculture can help in mitigating climate change. 
They were extensively discussed this week at the COP27 summit in Sharm el Sheikh. According to studies, animal based foods are responsible for as much as 20% of total greenhouse gas emissions. And if meat consumption continues according to the current trends, it will be impossible to keep global warming below 1.5 degrees Celsius. As of now, Singapore is the only country that has legalized selling lab cultured meat products. But the FDA's recent announcement is likely to open the floodgates in the U.S. in the coming months. Now, that right there <clears throat> should let you know. Get you a new cooking set. Start, you know, preparing to uh, learn how to cook some of your favorite recipes. Believe me, once you start cooking, you're going to enjoy it. But uh, let's move on to the next one. This one right here I thought was really interesting. Let's see these guys 3D print a steak. That's the part that I don't get about vegans. If you don't want to eat meat, why are you in the lab just creating meat? That looks disgusting. That looks disgusting. Let's continue on. Mm -hmm. We analyze the different components that uh, make those beautiful cuts and try to figure out which are the key components that we need to mimic in order to achieve those beautiful cuts of meat. We identify three main components, the muscle, the blood, and the fat. These are the components that we need to mimic in order to reach the perfect, beautiful steak. From far, it might look like a steak. From far. From far. But wait till he get up close on this thing. Look at that. Let me take that back. That looks disgusting. That looks disgusting. But now is the time. Now is the time. Start learning how to garden. Start learning how to cook your favorite recipes. Now is the time to start learning. If not, be prepared to be eating anything. Then you know they got that special oil and that special grease at the restaurants make everything taste a little bit better. They'll be serving you that at Outback in four or five years. This is what it look like TV. I appreciate you tuning in and joining me on this one. Check me out on the next one. Get you a cookbook. You're going to need one. And I'll see you on the next one.